In today's video, I got some loadouts to share with you guys that I've been using on Silver Ridge Peaks. I think they work very, very good, and I would like to share them with you guys. Maybe you can give them a shot, and maybe even if you have your own loadout, let me know what it is in the comment section down below, because maybe I'll even give it a shot. But these are three of the loadouts that I have been using lately when I'm playing Silver Ridge Peaks. They work really good. They allow me to kill every single animal on the map effectively. I don't have to worry about not having a certain gun for a certain level animal, because literally most of the animals on this map are from level four to nine and then you have the turkeys which are level one i'm pretty sure there is no level two and three class animals they're all like level four and higher so i don't want to make this too long i'm not going to really do too much rambling in this video i'm just going to get straight into the loadouts tell you the levels of them and that's literally it there's three loadouts here so let's get straight into this so with loadout one i do have the seven millimeter it is class four to nine it's going to allow you to pretty much you're going to be able to kill everything on this map with this gun from all the way over to the bighorn sheep the mountain goat the mule deer and all the way up to the bison you could literally just carry the seven millimeter and a shotgun with a birdshot or the 22 long rifle and be able to kill everything on this map no problem but i just like to carry a few different guns for the animals uh just just to give some variety in there so the seven millimeter great gun that is number one in this loadout the next gun i have here is the m1 garand you're going to be able to kill everything on this map minus the bison because they are a class 9 animal and the 30-06 caliber which is what the m1 garand fires is only four to eight so you'll be able to kill anything from the mountain goat all the way up to the rocky mountain elk moving on to weapon number three for this loadout i do carry the longbow it is just a really effective weapon whenever you get in those close range situations you can be pretty quiet with it and you can also kill everything in the game with it uh, it's just a little bit you know more complicated because obviously it's a bow it doesn't have sights and you're really limited on the range so as long as you have the right arrows equipped you can literally kill everything in the game it's very effective very deadly bow i highly recommend you use it and in order to get this bow you have to have the silver ridge peaks dlc figured i would mention that for those of you that might not know and the last weapon that i carry in this loadout is the 22 lr the rifle anyways not the pistol uh, this is just for the turkeys i can shoot them at long range all the way from like 250 meters effectively drop them one to two shots sometimes and you're going to be perfectly fine very effective with the turkeys it's got a 10 round magazine semi-automatic and it's just it's a beast for the turkeys perfect gun perfect gun for the turkeys in here okay moving on to loadout number two and this one it can kind of vary it just depends on what you want to carry so the first weapon here is the drilling rifle very very effective weapon it is from class five to nine if you are using the 9.3 ammunition which is the rifle bullet so five to nine there you can kill anything in the game minus level four species so that's such as uh, like bighorn and the mountain goat and i'm pretty sure that's it oh no and i think the pronghorn are level four as well and the cool part about the drilling rifle is that it is also a shotgun if you swap the ammo type you can have the 16 gauge bird shot in here if you're ever running around and you see a turkey swap the ammo real quick and you can blast that turkey out of the sky or instead of carrying the bird shot in the drilling rifle you can carry the norden 20 gauge here is a semi-automatic shotgun uh the 20 gauge and you're going to be able to get off more shots quicker i really enjoy using this on this map uh, you can really just blast those turkeys out of the sky because sometimes they'll just fly right over your head and you have three shots and you can get the job done if you, if you can't hit them with three shots then something's wrong so that's kind of your choice you don't have to carry the drilling rifle and use the uh, shotgun part of it you can carry the Norden instead, or you can completely forget about the Norden, swap it out for the 22 long rifle or a bow or something like that. And yeah, it's just your choice, but I typically carry both. It's just how I like it. And for the final weapon in this loadout, we have the Eckers 30 out six, and this is for four to eight. So since the 9.3 ammunition can't kill those level four animals, we have the Eckers here to do the job for us. You can swap this out for the M1 Garand if you prefer that, but sometimes I don't always like running the M1, even though they are the exact same ammo type, the 30 out six. Sometimes I just prefer the Eckers. Honestly, I feel like it is a little bit more effective and who doesn't love a good old bolt action. And on to the third and final class of today's video, we have the 300 Magnum, weapon class 7 to 9. That's going to be perfect for taking out the Black Bear, the Rocky Mountain Elk, and the Plains Bison. It's a beast of a rifle, very accurate, super deadly at long range, 
and yeah it's just gonna be perfect for those larger game animals on this map that's really it you can't kill the pronghorn with it and the mountain goat and stuff like that it's just a little overpowered for that thing for those things but it really does suit this map well for taking those long range shots on those rocky mountain elk and all those other animals that is capable to be killed with this rifle and to fill the gap for taking out the other animals on this map we have the 6.5 class four to eight so you're going to be able to take out the pronghorn the mule deer mountain goat the mountain lion the bighorn and whatever ones i missed i don't think i missed any there but super accurate accurate rifle pretty dang good at range honestly i'm not too i'm not really super impressed with how powerful this thing is at super long range i don't know maybe it's just me but i find like the 30 out six might be a little bit better choice but just to give you guys some variety to use here the 6.5 definitely a pretty good gun for this map i do recommend it and i just love the way it looks i love the big magazine that it has on it and it's just a really cool bolt action rifle and i think it really does suit this map properly i feel like the 6.5 caliber is something that you would come out on this map and do some hunting with especially for like the big horn and the mountain goats i feel like it's just a like perfect caliber for those two animals there and again for this class i like to run the longbow same thing as i said earlier I'm not gonna stick around on that forever and then also I run the 22 LR on this one as well, just to be able to take out the turkeys. You might be able, you might want to swap out the 22 LR here for the Norden 20 gauge or the Cacciatore 12 gauge. That way you have the uh, pump action. I believe it's got a six round uh, shell capacity on that instead of a three like the Norden. It's just the only difference is one is semi-auto and a 20 gauge, and then the other ones is pump action. And it's 12 gauge so you kind of pick your poison there and for other equipment that's not really important you can kind of just run whatever you want i run the deer bleat collar the elk collar and then both the turkey collars that's all you really need for this map half the time i don't even use the collars like ever i kind of just run around and i see something in the distance sneak up on it shoot it i don't ever call things in because i just feel like the collars just are kind of a waste of my time and of course i'm always carrying the first aid kits just in case you get attacked by something you know something runs into you you get locked up in a herd of planes bison and they start running you over and you need to get a quick heal off because there's a diamond running from you or something and you don't want to have to go find it first aid kits kits very important and i also carry a crap load of tents just in case i need to put one down spawn something change my time do whatever but that's really it for the loadouts that i wanted to share with you guys they're just ones that i have been running on this map and they have worked pretty good let me know what loadouts you guys run in the comment section down below let me know if you're going to try these out how you like them and yeah stay tuned for a silver ridge peaks guide i want to try and learn the map a little bit more before i make one i'm still trying to figure out the need zones and stuff of all the animals give me a few more days or a week or so and i'll definitely work on getting a full guide for this map out for you guys because i know a lot of you guys have been asking for that anyways hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one later